In this video, I'll be looking at three wide angle adapters for the DJI Pocket 3, seeing how they compare in terms of how wide they are, the image quality, stacking with filters, and removing any distortion that they have. The three wide angle adapters I'll be looking at are the one from DJI, a generic one that I bought from AliExpress, which was branded as a B horse in the listing, but uh, it's not really a proper brand. I think they're just sold under a range of different brands. And the last one is Start RC. One thing in common with all three of these adapters is that the Pocket 3 cannot park its head when you put it in sleep mode while the adapter is attached. The DJI wide angle adapter, if you get it as part of the Pocket 3 creator combo as I did, doesn't come with a proper case. It just comes in a little bag. I'd assume that if you buy it separately, it does come in a case, but on DJI's website, they don't have a photo of the product in a box, so I can't say 100% on that. The generic wide angle adapter comes in a small case, padded with foam, and it's got a little, couple of little holes cut into it so you can easily pull the adapter out of the foam. Um, as you can see from the image, the lens has got a white interior, which doesn't bode well for internal reflections. I'm not quite sure why you would have it white on the inside instead of black, but that's what they've done. And finally, the Start RC. Again, this comes with a case and it comes in some foam and you can easily take it out and put it back in. Um, the case is quite oversized for such a little filter, but I assume they didn't want to make it any smaller because otherwise it might be difficult to find and you could lose it easily. The main reason I bought the generic and start RC wide angle adapters was to see if they could be used with filters as from my previous experience the DJI wide angle adapter didn't work with filters. So as you can see here though if you try and mount the generic adapter on top of a filter, it doesn't want to fit properly. And the same thing with the Start RC, when we try and mount that, it doesn't want to attach. And this is what the DJI looks like when you try and attach that to a filter. It does attach slightly better than the other two. So if we flip the filter over so it's reversed, the Start RC uh, will then snap to it nicely. But if we try the DJI wide angle adapter, that still has the same issue where it will slightly attach but only at an angle and not properly. If we test the polarity of the magnets in the adapters using a compass, we can see with the DJI, the bottom of the magnet is attracting the north pointing needle, whereas if we rotate it, the top of the magnet will repel the north pointing needle and attract the south pointing needle. Whereas with the generic adapter, we can see that the magnet attracts the north pointing needle of the compass, and if we flip over the adapter, it then attracts the south pointing needle. And again, with the Start RC, we can see that the bottom of the magnet attracts the north pointing needle. And if we flip over the adapter, the front of it attracts the south pointing needle. So we can see the difference is the DJI filter uses a bar style magnet, whereas the generic and Start RC use a flat style magnet. So we'll start with the Pocket 3 by itself with just its bare lens for comparison. Then moving on to the DJI wide angle adapter, you can see it's quite a bit wider, but we do also get quite a bit of distortion Next, moving on to the generic filter, you can see it's wider again than the DJI, but there's even more distortion. 
and then lastly the start rc you can see this is slightly wider again and still with loads of distortion so next looking at the image quality in the corners starting with the bare pocket 3 in the bottom right corner you can see it looks okay and if we move up to look at the top right corner again that's still okay with the dji wide angle adapter you can see we're losing a bit of quality in the corners this is at the bottom right corner and the top right corner is similar moving on to the generic adapter you can see image quality here in the bottom right corner is very poor and it's a similar story although you could say not quite as bad but we have got bad um, chromatic aberration it appears to be both longitudinal and lateral chromatic aberration that, that we've got here lastly the start rc in the bottom right corner again we've got quite a lot of chromatic aberration both lateral and longitudinal but it's not quite as bad in terms of image quality at least as the generic filter and looking at the top right again you can see here where we've got the bright light source the longitudinal chromatic aberration is worse which is what you'd expect Next, moving on to the distortion corrected images for comparison, starting again with the bare pocket. Next, adding the DJI below that, you can see it's quite a bit wider and you can correct the distortion. Adding on the generic one, you can see again it's wider, but there's even more distortion to be corrected. So you don't actually really gain that much over the DJI because the image quality is not very good on the edges. And lastly, on to the Start RC, you can see it doesn't really give you anything much over what the generic filter does, at least in terms of field of view. So if we test with a reversed filter, starting with a Start RC ND8 filter reversed, and then the DJI wide angle adapter on top, you can see we get bad vignetting in two of the corners because of the DJI adapter being on at an angle. If we then move to the KNF ND8 PL filter reversed again with the DJI, we can see similar problem, although vignetting is not quite as bad. If we now move on to the KNF ND8 PL filter reversed with the generic filter, and the generic wide angle adapter with the Start RC ND8 reversed, much less vignetting than the DJI, but we do still have some quite heavy vignetting, especially in the top right corner where you can see some mechanical vignetting. Bear in mind if you were to apply distortion correction to this, the really dark corners would be cut off from the image so you wouldn't actually see them. If we now look at the Start RC wide angle adapter with the Start RC ND8 filter reversed, you can see we've got some quite bad vignetting, worse than we had with the generic adapter. And if we move on to the Start RC wide angle with the KNF ND8 PL reversed, you can see we have got a bit of vignetting. But again, if you apply distortion correction to this, the vignetting in the extreme corners would be cut off anyway. So what we can conclude from this is that the circular filters with adjustment ring seem to give less vignetting when reversed than the solid filters, at least in the case of the Start RC NDs, which is sort of the opposite of what I would have thought, but there you go. All right, so correcting the image in the free version of DaVinci Resolve I'm not going to go through it fully because it takes me too long messing around with the different lens distortion settings to try and get something that looks good. So the first step is to add a lens distortion tool to the image. This is in the Fusion tab and just get it looking roughly correct. Once that's done, you can add a transform tool because you can see with just the lens distortion, if I turn the transform off again, it's cropped in quite a lot. And so if we add in a transform, we can then zoom out so we can see sort of more of the entire image. 
and you can see that quite a bit of the image is removed from the top once we've undistorted it whereas less is removed from the sides so once you've put the transform on you can then go back to the lens distortion and tweak the settings a bit more to get it looking as straight as you can and then once that's done assuming you want to keep as sort of you're happy having a more widescreen image and um, sort of just having the top parts and the very edges where there's no image cropped off you can then apply a crop to the image and get your finished clip if you have the full version of DaVinci you can quite easily apply lens correction within the video tab you can adjust the amount of distortion correction to get something looking quite good without too much trouble but it does cut off the edges of the image so you don't get quite as wide a field of view with Final Cut Pro you can't really correct the distortion you can try applying the fisheye effect with a negative amount but the issue is you can never really correct it if you put too much correction on it starts to get distorted in the center of the image before the edges are even fixed you can purchase lens distortion filters separately for Final Cut Pro that may well be able to fix the issue but certainly with the built-in filter you can't really correct it you can correct the distortion by bringing the video into Photoshop and then removing the distortion using the camera raw filter first of all you need to convert the video layer into a smart object if you don't do this then when you apply the filter it will only apply to one frame of the video rather than the entire video you then need to go to filters and choose the camera raw filter uh, you'll then need to scroll down and find the optics section in here you can then adjust the distortion until you've got it mainly removed you can also try defringing but in my experience with these fringing is more blue than purple and it's difficult to get rid of similar to fusion you lose more of the top and bottom of the image than you do the sides so if you crop it down to maximize the amount of image left you'll end up with an image that's more widescreen than the original once you're done with that you just go on file export and then render video and you can render the video back out so for comparison we start off with the pocket 3 with no extra lenses attached This is with the DJI adapter. When we start to spin round, you may be able to see that the landscape distorts. This seems to be more noticeable to me when watching the video in a small screen. So this is with the generic wide angle adapter. With the generic adapter we get quite soft corners. And because this is wider than the DJI when we spin round you'll see more distortion in the landscape as we rotate. With the Start RC we do lose some image quality in the corners but it's not as bad as the generic adapter. This is the Start RC now with distortion correction applied.
and you'll see that when we get to the bit where we spin round at the end you don't get things warping at the edge of the frame as you spin round. This is the KNF Vary ND reversed with the Start RC on top of it. As you can see, we've got some uh, strong vignetting in the very corners. And this is the same KNF area ND reversed, this time with the generic wide angle lens stacked on top of it. And this is the KNF Ferry ND mounted normally with the DJI wide angle lens on it at an angle. So you can see we've got vignetting in two of the corners because it's on at an angle. And this is a gelatin ND filter just placed on top of the Pocket 3 lens with the DJI wide angle lens then on top of it holding it in place. As you can see it's a lower contrast generally and when we spin round and point into the sun the contrast is greatly reduced and we get a lot of veiling flare. This is the bare Pocket 3 with no wide angle adapter attached. This is the DJI adapter. This is the generic wide angle lens. This is the Start RC wide angle lens. And this is the Start RC wide angle lens with an ND gel filter. As you can see when we're looking towards the sun there's a big loss in contrast. This is the generic with the ND gel. This is the DJI wide angle lens with the ND gel filter. This is the Start RC ND64 filter reverse mounted with the Start RC wide angle lens on top. 
Contrast is a lot better than with the ND gel filter, but we have bad vignetting in the corners. This is the Start RC ND64 filter reverse mounted again, this time with the generic wide angle lens on top. And this is the Start RC ND64 filter mounted normally with the DJI wide angle lens on top at an angle because that's the only way you can mount it. So in conclusion, there's no good wide angle adapter available for the Pocket 3. The DJI gives you decent quality, but you get a lot of distortion around the edge, which you then have to go and correct. You also can't use the DJI with filters. It won't attach properly to normal glass filters, and with gelatin filters, you get too much flare. With the Start RC and generic filter, the Start RC is the better of the two because you don't lose as much image quality in the corners, but it isn't that great when you compare it to the DJI adapter either. You can use the Start RC and generic wide angle adapter with glass filters, but especially with the Start RC, you will get some vignetting in the corners, although this may be got rid of if you do distortion correction but because the image is so distorted you're then going to be sort of ending up with really soft edges from the correction